In this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of a new feature we call Dual Layout. In short, it's the ability to make a unique layout appear when the user turns the device. Now, This is in contrast to the way that MagPlus has traditionally worked, which is that one layout can work for both orientations using a feature we call Pinning. You'll still be able to do that, but with the new Dual Layout feature, you can make something unique for each orientation. And When the user turns the device, they'll see that other layout. Let me show you how it works in InDesign. The way that we do this is with new master pages that you'll see when you open up your 4.1 MagPlus templates for anything CS5, 5.5, or 6. Unfortunately, we couldn't port this back to CS4. In any of those other versions, when you open up your MagPlus template, you'll see there's two new master pages here in your pages palette. Auto master is the traditional MagPlus version that you've seen before, the square layout that works for both orientations. But you also see a landscape master, which is horizontal, of course, and a portrait master, which is vertical. So in order to take advantage of this, let me jump over to a blank document and show you how to use it. So let's say I want to make my dual layout. I'm going to take my V portrait master and I'm just going to drag it over the top of page one and then click use master page size. Now my page one is my vertical layout. I'm going to do something simple just so you can see the effect. We'll just put a blue box there. Now, I need to make the alternate version of this. I need to make a layout that people will see when they turn the device. So I'm going to grab my H landscape master and I'm just going to drag it down here and make it my page two. And I'll put a simple box on this one as well. There you go. Now we'll just quick save this one. We'll call it test. I'll replace the old one. And let's kick a fast review out to our device. I'm just using reflector app to show you what's on the iPad that's sitting next to my computer. And you can see when I rotate, the other layout comes up. Now, the interesting thing about the way that we implemented this is that you don't have to have an even number of V and H pages in any given vertical. You do have to have only V and H pages. You can't mix in an auto page along with the V and H in a single vertical. But you don't have to match the number of landscape and portraits. So let's say I want a second vertical page. Let me grab my portrait master, and I'll drag it down here as a page three. And I'll put another simple box on here. We'll just make it red. And let's do another fast review so you can see what happens. Now you can see that in the portrait orientation, when I scroll, I've got my second box. But in my landscape orientation, because I only had one slide, when I go to scroll, nothing happens. And if I turn back, I go to the last page that I was on in that orientation. So you could have several vertical and only one horizontal or vice versa, however you'd like to match it up. And just know that over here in your pages palette, it doesn't really matter what order you drag things in. The system will simply look for the first V and the first H and assume those are matched up, and then the second V and the second H and so on and so forth. That's really how easy it is to make something unique for each orientation using the new dual layout feature. We hope you'll have fun with it.